Julian here again, and we're going to do another movie review. Um, I want to wish everybody, first of all, a happy Thanksgiving, and I'll try to make this a brief but interesting movie review. Um, today's movie is kind of an obscure one that was from 1985, and it's called Baby, Secret of the Lost Legend. It's one of these movies that I remember watching as a little kid. It's one of the first uh, memories I have of movies, and there were a few scenes there that just captivated my mind for years and years and years. When I found out it came out on Blu-ray, I had to get it the first day it came out. But yeah, it's B.W.L. Norton's Baby, ba a Baby, Secret of the Lost Legend. And let me show you the Blu-ray first, then we'll talk about the film, okay? So this right here, it's called Baby, Secret of the Lost Legend. It stars William Cat, Sean Young, and um, Patrick McGowan. William Cat, as you guys probably know, is from All American Hero. He was the star of that and of the movie Carrie. He played Tommy, I believe his name was. Sean Young um, is from a whole bunch of movies. She's from Blade Runner. Um, she's from Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. She also um, was supposed to have played Catwoman, but that didn't turn out, so she started to stalk um, Tim Burton. But that's one of the small little trivias I know about her. But yeah, Baby Secret of the Lost Legend. It's a, um, like I said earlier, like I said in the introduction, it's one of my childhood's uh, favorite movies when I was growing up. Um, I have good memories of the movie, however, uh, since I rewatched it, you know, as an adult, it's a tough movie. It is good, and it is sweet, but boy, is it slow. It's only 92 minutes, and my goodness, man, it feels like it's about a three-hour movie. Yeah, the special effects are pretty good, I think. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not um, blaming the special effects or anything. I just think the pace is just really weird. It's supposed to be a kid's movie, but it's awfully, awfully violent, and um, it's kind of... It's, uh, it's, it's, it's odd because um, it's about two, um, it's, well, it's about a paleontologist played by Sean Young who's in Africa with her husband um, who's played by William Cat, and he is, I guess, a scientist and he wants to be a reporter because the whole thing is that he wants to leave Africa and go back to Chicago and pursue this um, newspaper gig that he got. However, um, Sean Young gets evidence by one of the natives that um, this tribe got very sick from eating this certain kind of meat, and when they, when they found the bones of meat, it turned out to be the, um, the vertebrae of, a, of I guess, a, bra a brontosaurus. But I, I don't think a brontosaurus is the right word. I think a palosaurus is what they meant, but they called they call it, um, they called it a brontosaurus. Well, anyways, right, they go looking for it, they find it, and they find that it's, uh, it's a mom and a dad, and it's a baby. You can actually see the baby in the cover right there, it's the little one right there. And then on, um... At the same time, though, Patrick McGowan, who plays um, Sean Young's mentor and villain in this film, um, is actually going, is actually knew all about them and is trying to capture them to bring them back to, I think it's Britain or the States or whatever, right? But, yeah, it's a, um, it's a pretty, pretty, uh, it's a pretty decent, um, it's a pretty decent adventure film, I guess, but it is slow. That's my only problem with it. The special effects are fine. This is 85, so everything was heavily puppetry. Um... The writing is okay at best, but I just think it's very slow. I think it should have been, it should have been um, cut differently. It should have had a better plot too. The whole, the whole, it takes them almost about fifty minutes before you actually see the dinosaurs. That's five zero fifty minutes. So a lot of it is character development. A lot of it's very strange, weird dialogue. A lot of it has to do with natives, right? So I'm not sure how one hundred percent accurate it is. It may come off as maybe race racist to to certain people, but I don't know. I enjoyed it because, like I said, it, it was nostalgic for me, and you know, it, it didn't have memories, especially at the very end, where um, the bad guy gets um, bitten by the mom, by the mom dinosaur, and yeah, that that part always stuck in my mind, in my entire life. It was always, I always had a memory of this guy being lifted up. Although in my mind's eye, it was much much higher than it was in the film. In the film, you know, yeah, the dinosaurs are pretty big, but they're not huge. But in my mind, it seemed like forty stories he was lifted, but. You know, that's, that's what happens when you, uh, when you, uh, you know, remember things. Um, another big memory I've had about this movie, too, was there's a part where the baby, the little baby, he's harassing a turtle. <laughs> for whatever reason, that part is stuck in my mind for years. I mean, all, all he is is looking at this, little, at this big turtle, and the turtle just pokes his head back into the shell. But, yeah. Um, what I suggested for little kids now, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little tough for that, because there is nudity in it, which I don't care about, it's the... You know, there's a lot of, like, native stuff, so a lot of you see a lot of boobage, right? But I will be more concerned about the pacing and the violence. The violence, because you see one of the dinosaurs get killed, 
and it's pretty bloody, and it could be kind of horrific if you're a little kid. And also the fact, too, that um, what's weird about it, like I said, is the pacing. Like, the first 50 minutes is just human stuff, you know, and that stuff's not interesting. I mean, it is interesting. It's part of the story, but it is slow. And, and, and like I said, 90, a 92-minute movie for, like, three hours, I mean, holy crap, right? So, nostalgically, I loved it. I'll always love it for the rest of my life. But if I'm going to suggest to somebody, probably not. It's not very well made. William Cat cannot act. His height of acting was in Carrie. He was stopped after that. Or in the uh, Greatest American Hero. Sean Young, she has nice legs. She is pretty. Kind of act very well. Patrick McGowan is great as a villain. I mean, he always is. I mean, he was Longshanks in um, Braveheart. So he did very well. The puppetry was good. I thought, you know, for being 85 and you seeing gigantic, humongous dinosaurs walking around, it's not it's, 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 it's part of Jurassic Park in that sense. Yes, the face is a little bit goofy, and yes, they gave him human eyes, but 85, you know? No, no one had ever seen anything like that before. Um, Baby Secret Lost Legends definitely, definitely won if you, had, if you watched it as a young child and you were um, nostalgic about it. But for this generation, for any for little kids nowadays, it's not it's not a very good movie. Um, I, I once showed it to my brother, and he couldn't sit through it. They call it on the cover, um, A Cross Between Raiders of the Lost Ark and E.T. Um, I wouldn't go that far. It's more like, just slow, man. It's just a really slow movie, and like I said, it takes a long time before you see dinosaurs. And it's just a... William Cat and Sean Young didn't have very good chemistry, I thought. And if you, if you do happen to watch it, it's probably best if you can find it on Netflix or YouTube or Hulu. But yeah, but but that being said, the Blu-ray is pretty cheap. I mean, I bought my Blu-ray for four dollars on Amazon the first day, so um, it's a pretty good deal in that sense. But yep, that was B. W. L. Norton's Baby Secret of the Lost Legend, and I hope everyone has a nice Thanksgiving. And yeah, have a good day.